Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. Kazooie here is being a naughty little bird, pecking poor Banjo in the head. So let's go ahead and continue so we can stop, so she can stop and, or cease and desist, rather. That's what I wanted to say. Because poor Banjo doesn't need any more knobs of knowledge on his big old skull. Please, fix the poo. Piggles pushed me in the other week. <laughs> Look, what's happened to my arm? Well, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Thanks, I'm really touchy quite a bit about it, as you might expect. Freako! Sorry, I had a burp coming right through my chest, but... I also try to stifle some laughter. <laughs> it wasn't laughing at his arm. I was laughing at the name Piggles. <laughs> I don't know, I just... I, something about it just sounds funny. Hey, Piggles. Help us sort out a pool, Mr. Bear! What's wrong with it? Looks fine to me! Well, we wanna go swimming, but the water's polluted and icy cold! Hmm, this one may take some time. Oh, good lord, you don't even know the half of it. This, uh, golden nugget here is gonna be the biggest pain in the butt. Let me say that again in terms that I normally say things. It's gonna be open booty. For real. It is just, oh. But, we're gonna go ahead and take care of half of the problem now, because the other half we won't be able to take care of until after we visit World 8. That's right, I said it. World 8! Do you realize how many worlds that is? Of course you do, you know how to count. But in case you don't know, this is World 4 right now, so that'll probably help you out. We gotta wait four world, four worlds later before we can and just, ugh. And even then, it gets more complicated what we have to do with this one. It's just, ugh. But we're not gonna think about that right now. Right now we're gonna think about is shimmying or siddling. Get out of here, you nasty. You nasty! Um, we're gonna settle on over here to where this honeycomb ring is. Lovely. This lone little honeycomb ring. Poor little guy is probably all alone up here, all by himself. Fret not, we have friends with us. Friends! Let us partake in the junk food of eating or something like that. I was trying to do a Starfire quote, but I couldn't think of anything. The only thing that comes to mind when I think of that now, and I think of her character, is I think of Blork Nog or something like that. What is that high-pitched noise? Is that coming up from my game, or is that from outside? Oh, okay, it's a construction truck. I was like, what the heck is that? I was like, is my is my game fixing to freeze or something? It's weird. Anyway, we'll go ahead and press the switch here. Ooh, toxic waste disposal. Ew, gross. That's lovely. Let's go ahead and shut that nasty bad boy off. Ugh. Ugh, that noise, man. It sound not the construction noise, but that noise. It sounds so disgusting. Yay, for crystal clear water, I don't know. I don't know how that works exactly. I guess when the dumping stops, it the water is suddenly clean. I don't know about that. After I make a mess in the toilet, it even after I stop, it looks pretty bad still, but anyway. Oh, jeez. This here, this jiggy here you see, is actually not even... Is this, this jiggy is actually part of World 6. And what you'll may, what you'll may notice is, if I can get a good look, I don't know if I can, because this big, giant, stupid box is in the way. We can't actually get this, but right over here, you'll look across. I think it says it right there. Waste, water, something. We're actually going to be visiting that area right there, and if you see right there, if I can get a good look on it, there's a Jinjo inside. We'll be getting that in this world, actually, so hip hip hooray for that. I think you can hear a Minjo in here. Yeah, there he is. That's a fake, though. And the only reason I know that, aside from the fact that, A, I have played this game before, is we've already completed all of the... the uh, we've already completed. We've already rescued all the yellow Jinjos, so nice try, phony. Better luck next time. Better do your research more before you try to troll me. Troll -a lol -a lol. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now that the watch. I don't even think you needed to do this before you could enter the water. But I personally feel a bit more safe about Banjo because it was hygiene with the nasty waste uh, not pouring out on top of their head. Just saying. They already look weird enough as is. I don't want them to have an extra limb just like this poor guy over here does. Then again, I'm one to talk, so I guess that makes it... Actually, it, I am one to talk because 
I have a right to say they look weird, because I know I look weird. Or sound weird. Look and sound weird. <laughs> Alrighty, we have... We do not have a Cheeto page yet. Okay, that's what we're missing. I'm like, we're missing something. What is it that we're missing? We gotta revisit Pano's shop here real quick. Yeah, then we have at least five doubloons. So let's go ahead and get this here, uh... Is it the Cheeto? Yeah, it's Cheeto page right there. Hello again. How much for the worthless piece of toilet paper? Far from worthless, my friend. I was told that page comes from the legendary Cheeto book. Are you sure? Oh, yes. I'm afraid I won't take less than five doubloons for it. I don't get quality like that in here every day. So I see! <laughs> oh, jeez, Kazooie. You and your s skeptical self. So the page is still available. Kazooie says it sure will be... It'll still be here available next year. And it will still be to five doubloons. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. Sorry, I didn't want to do the voice again. I should have, really. Aye! Let's go ahead and take the doubloon... Or, take the doubloons. Give the doubloons to him. So we can get the cheetah page. Pleasure doing business. Please help yourselves. Alrighty, so this is the last item that we have to pick off from Pano, basically. <sighs> Excuse me, gracious me. Good gracious me. Oh, poor little old soul. <laughs> Sorry, I just happened to think about a song actually my grandfather used to sing to me whenever I was... He didn't sing it to me, he just sang it just to annoy me. It's like one of those songs you sing about somebody, and it's not meant to be serious, but it's just meant to poke at him and make get a reaction out of him. His song was something like, he used my first and last name, and I'll just go ahead and sing it. He goes, Oh, Kyle Tyra was a merry old soul, lived ten years in a pig's butthole. Like, I'm not even kidding you. You think that, like, your family is interesting to live with? <laughs> you have not met some of my family members, I gotta say. I'm not saying they're the most obnoxious or weird or quirky, but I'm gonna say this. If you ever wish you could switch places, which I doubt you will, because I'm pretty unusual, um, might want to rethink that. <laughs> I got a pretty unusual family life. That's for sure. I mean, I love them to death, though. Love them bits and pieces, too. Even though that phrase really sounds kind of cruel, actually, when you get down to looking at it. You know, it makes you wonder, who the heck thought it was a good idea to say, love you, love you to bits and pieces and love you to death, you know? It's like turning a it's trying to take a bad thing and turn it into a good thing, you know? Jeez. But I guess we've just understood that idiomatic expression as being a good thing, you know? Alrighty, so this guy here, we're actually going to utilize the ice eggs, which I don't think I remember explaining, so I guess I should kind of do a little tutorial of them. Ice eggs, as you might imagine, do the exact opposite of fire eggs. They help cool things down, and sometimes freeze things like they did in that room. We're going to be using those actually quite a bit in this game. I think actually... I'm trying to think of other areas... Oh, actually there are, are quite a few other uses for them, but... We'll get to them as we get to them, you know. Get out of here, you nasty puffer fish. Nasty little booger. Alright, there's your first or second warp pad, or first warp pad underwater. Kinda weird how they managed to incorporate underwater features with a warp. Alright, now I'm gonna get rid of these little fools. Die! You too. Go blow yourself to pieces. Okay, now I can focus here with all those, with all those little fart knockers knocking me all over the place. I'm pushing Z! It's not working! Well, it's because you haven't learned the move yet, you dummy. Oh my gosh, facepalm. What the heck, man? <laughs> I keep forgetting when I have to redo stuff or whenever I... Or rather, I keep forgetting what moves I do have and not have. Because I keep thinking I'm doing a practice run sometimes. And I'll lose track. I don't want to go in here yet, do I? Uh... No, I don't want to yet. This is like this is a pretty cool room, but I'm gonna save it. <coughs> Let's try that again. I'm going to save it for after uh, I learn the move at least. Because I do want to make sure you definitely want to make sure you learn this move before you leave Jolly Roger Sagoon, the next move I'm about to learn anyway. Let's try that again. The next move I'm about to learn. There, without the squelching noise. Jeez. I still can't believe my stupid throat did that to me, man. It's like, ugh, really? Come on, man. 
Squelch, 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 squelch. Hi, squelch. How you squelch are squelch you squelch doing squelch. What I mean is it's just that noise that goes, you know, like somebody's, I don't know. I can't, ex I can't exactly describe it, but it sounds like somebody's taking a sponge full of water and wringing it out every time I talk, and it's just really... Part of, part of me is kind of disgusted by it that my throat did that during the first or second, or both for that matter, episode of Witchy World, and I just... ugh, I don't even. I'm just glad I'm being more conscious about it now. Zay launches merges, watch her go through the water like a torpedo. Control stick to steer A and for speed. B to cancel if it's banjo you need. That'll be all. Do you smashed? Hmm, okay. So this is actually a very handy move underwater. It's only an underwater move exclusively, which can be a bit of a downer, but it actually is not too too bad, really. It's kind of cool. Especially when we do have water moves. Alrighty, come here, you fart knockers. That's right. You wanna try and shock me? Well, I got ice eggs, man. That'll neutralize your nasty little zap. Yeah, I don't know if you, any of you notice, know that, but you can actually hit these eels with ice eggs and they'll stop their electricity... It'll stop their electricity temporarily. Which is really nice, considering how nasty they are to deal with. Okay, so... Oh, lovely, those puffer fish are back. Alright. Grenade eggs... Aim. Fire! All right, hang on. Ready? Open up. Right in your butt. Oh, dude! What the? Who did that? Who pinched my butt? Seriously? No, no. You get back here. You want to come after me? That's right. That's what I thought. Blow yourself up, you fart knocker. What the heck, man? Seriously. I'm sitting there minding my own dang business, and that little booger has the audacity to touch me right on my butt. You know, give me a real pain in the booty. Pinching my butt like that. What the crap, man? Jeez. Anywho, there's a honeycomb ring in there. Don't forget to grab that while you're on your way through exploring this area. And, ooh, no, 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 no. You get away from me. You get away. That's all I got to say to you. That's right, you die. You pinch, you die. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna do that. That's, that's a ripoff. Anywho, this is the torpedo move. You can actually move around with Kazooie. You don't move very fast, but when you do press A, you actually have the ability to zoom through stuff, sometimes destroying things, sometimes going through and busting things. And if you want to return, you can just press B. Be wary! This does actually take feathers. It takes five feathers, I think, actually, every time to work it. That's right, you blow up, sir. Ma'am. Didn't think it polite to ask. You can also go through these, in this level, you can go through those angelfish. And there's like, I think like, there's like two or three of them. Yeah, there's three of them total that actually have something worthwhile taking, so you definitely want to take time to do that. And let's go ahead and grab an ice egg here. Freeze this guy's eyeball. And then grab herself. I don't know why I just did that. I think it's because I think it's faster or something. I don't know if that was even faster or if that was any better. Crap. That was a bad idea. Dude, come on with the fudge. Here you. Oh, ice eggs don't affect you, huh? That's interesting to know. Ow! Okay, fine, fine. Leave me alone. Seriously. You nasty little porcupine. Ugh. Get out of here. Let's try this again without the stupidness. Alright, now we're going to zoom out so we can see what we're doing here. It's so one thing about first-person views sometimes, it can be a bit disadvantageous. I was going to say disadvantageous, but I don't know if that's a word. To actually look through the first-person view. Because sometimes you don't actually see everything around you. Okay, so how are we doing on time? Ugh. Kind of pushing our luck a little bit, so I think I'll go ahead and say, See you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Tooie. And the next time we meet will be Under the Sea. Under the sea, I love you all bunches, love you to bits and pieces, don't you love me? Okay, yeah. Parodies aside, see you guys next time. Peace!